When Apple revealed their HomePods at WWDC 2017, they also mentioned that you'll be able to pair two of them to use them in stereo and also for multi-room audio. Apple received a lot of heat because the HomePods launched around two months later than expected, and worst of all, it still lacked AirPlay 2, meaning you couldn't use them in stereo pairs. That update was released just a little bit ago on May 29th, and we finally had the support for AirPlay 2. We tested it out using stereo pairing with Apple Music, and it sounded really great. You could check out that video by using the card above. The first thing that comes to mind is if a stereo pair of HomePods would make a viable option for a home theater setup paired with an Apple TV 4K. So obviously you won't get a 5.1 channel surround sound system like I have here in my home theater, which uses a subwoofer plus five speakers to give you all around sound, but the HomePods do support a technology that will bounce sound off of walls to simulate surround sound. With stereo pairing, the HomePods actually know exactly where they are in the room and they can detect each other, and that helps them know where to bounce certain sounds to simulate the surround sound. Now comparing this expensive Dolby Atmos surround sound system to a pair of HomePods is a bit extreme, but let's do it anyways. We have our stereo HomePods set up on top of my sound system's front speakers, so let's see how well they stack up. So as soon as I plugged in my stereo paired HomePods, which are easy to pair in the Home app, they actually showed up on the Apple TV 4K automatically, so it makes this process very easy compared to an actual home theater system. And here in the settings and the audio output, uh, they showed up here as theater. I labeled them as the theater room HomePods. So I have my Zoom H6 recorder set up right here, right around head height. So right where you would be listening to set up in the center of the room. And it's about the same level of the HomePods. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the HomePods, we're gonna listen to the surround sound system. And it's very hard to actually give you guys a good explanation or a good recording of that, but we'll do our best. And then we'll give you a commentary and let you know what kind of a differences we saw. And if a stereo pair of HomePods can even compete with a system like this. So we just watched and listened to the intro of The Greatest Showman, which has a lot of loud music, a lot of different sound effects, and it has sounds from the back because it's using the surround sound. And it sounded great on the home theater system. Really, really good. Not as good as it sounded like through iTunes when I streamed the movie and I rented it, but it still sounded really good. Now, a couple things happened when we switched over to the HomePods. First off, we immediately noticed how much quieter it was and not on a normal level of volume. Uh, what ended up happening is the YouTube video that we airplayed with, it wasn't very loud as far as the audio in the video. And with our home theater system, there's so much power that we can easily just turn it up a bit louder to our normal level of listening volume 
and that just compensated for it. Now with the home pods, we were already maxing them out. So because the video is quieter than normal, it really just kind of messed up the experience. Other than the volume difference, we don't get that very deep bass from the subwoofer and we don't get the really crisp highs from the dedicated center channel with the tweeters up there. Uh, but I was surprised that we did get some stereo separation and some surround sound separation where I can hear the crowd from the side, but the main singing and the vocals were from the front. Uh, but compared to the surround sound system where I actually heard like a crowd and side effects from behind me, that was of course on another level. What I also want to mention is that here we have a large room, we have extra space off to the side over there and a lot of space from behind. So that simulated surround sound doesn't work as well as it would if we had a smaller room that was square. So we just finished off watching some of Thor Ragnarok and honestly, we were quite a bit disappointed, not by the sound quality of the speakers, but just the general lack of volume. They are way too quiet for watching movies. And not only if you have a big theater set up like this, even with my 50 inch TV, they would not be enough. The actual speakers built into the TV, even though they don't sound as good as far as the actual quality of the speakers, they are much louder than what this is putting out. Now the HomePod in general isn't a very loud speaker if you compare it to some of the competition like Sonos or the Google Home Max, but where it does really stand out is the quality of the speaker. Now, unfortunately, when you're watching videos, especially using the Apple TV 4K, the volume that it outputs for movies is much lower than for audio. Now, in general, if you're watching a film, you need to have a wider kind of dynamic range between the quiet sections and the loud sections to kind of feel the difference for the loud scenes, the loud effects, and the quiet scenes. Along with that fact that the HomePod is not the loudest speaker around, when you connect it to the Apple TV 4K and you actually play back a movie or a show, it brings the volume level down even more so, and it just is not enough. I don't think this is gonna be enough for even say a 40 inch TV in your living room in a scenario where you don't want it to be too loud. There is just not enough volume. When you're going through the menus on the Apple TV 4K or playing back say Apple Music from it, it is louder and that volume probably would be enough, but it's a that it doesn't play even that loud. Now I have to say the sound quality that's coming from it at that low volume is still good and I actually noticed a separation of sound and it sounded like I had uh, sound coming from behind me from that uh, the surround sound that it bounces off the wall so that was impressive I did notice that and that, that's something I did not expect but at this point I would say even my $350 sound bar that I have connected in my room is louder and in general probably sounds a little better as, as far as overall experience compared to a couple of these HomePods set up in a pair. So even though I do like the HomePod and I use it pretty much every single day to listen to music and we have it set up in a stereo pair and that does sound quite good and gets it louder with more bass, I definitely would not recommend it as a home theater alternative with Apple TV 4K. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.